Colin, did you shut that down or did it get shut down on its own? Uh, no, I accidentally shut it down because uh, there were, um, yeah, there's something else that I, I've been wanting to share with uh, people and I've had a conversation the other day about it and I thought, well, it's something that I haven't spoken about for a long time and that is how to look after your health and what is health and well-being and how one can, uh, how health works in the body, how to stay healthy. Because I haven't been sick since 2003. I haven't seen a doctor since then and I haven't seen a dentist since then. And so I'm able to self-heal basically um, and there's no magic to it. So I'd like to explain how it works so that everybody understands how they can heal themselves uh, and set up their their bodily functions because we live in these bodies that are healing machines. And so I just like to explain how, how it works. And the secret of uh, staying healthy is um, is in your stomach. And some people call it the second mind and it really is really is the second mind because it's essential to our health. Now, unfortunately, in our modern lives, we've tended to sanitize our lives too much and we avoid the one, try to avoid the one thing that will ultimately give us better health and that is bacteria. <laughs> and the way um, uh, digestion is supposed to work is that that we should pre-digest foods in our mouths and then it goes into the stomach. But if, we, if our stomach's not inhabited by good bacteria, the stomach doesn't get broken down properly. And so all those toxins then go back into the body, the toxins that exist in our stomachs. So we are literally cr creating poisons in our stomachs that are going to kill us and make us unhealthy. So the secret to it is really to inhabit our guts with good microflora, bacteria. And um, the way to do it is through fermented foods. Because fermented foods um, contain a large quantities of, uh, of the bacteria we need. We, there's what, 134 uh, benef uh, type, kinds of beneficial bacteria that we need for uh, to inhabit uh, fully inhabit our guts with good bacteria but and no one food has all those uh, bacteria in it uh, it's 134 uh, Judith now there's actually 334 types of bacteria so that gives you an idea of the span but you have to have the 134 beneficial bacteria in your stomach to break down your foods properly. And uh, sauerkraut, for instance, holds uh, 104 of these bacteria. So, and I don't know if you know how sauerkraut is made. It's made very easily. It's very easy to make. It's just cabbage, which is then, uh, you know, uh, combined with water and salt and then left to ferment. And that's how they... They make a, 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 a sauerkraut. And it was first created by the Germans because they were experiencing an, a number of invasions at the time from people from the East, uh, the Mongols. And so their way of preserving foods was to make sauerkraut and then they would take this, these barrels of, of sauerkraut with them into the forests and so on, and they would live, basically live off sauerkraut, which would keep them healthy. Um, and that's where the sauerkraut comes from. But the other good uh, bacteria holding foods, and one is pickled beetroot. So, you know, I, I always have a bottle of pickled beetroot and a bottle of sauerkraut and a bo bottle of pickled vegetables in my my refrigerator and one doesn't need large quantities but in the beginning you will because most of our people if you look at tests that have been done on the what they call probiotics yeah 
uh, of people's stomach, they'll find that very few people actually have good bacteria in their stomach. And it's no good buying the probiotics in the shops because these chemically produced probiotics don't hold any bacteria. They just hold uh, chemicals, basically, that, that are useless. So the way to inhabit your stomach is to, um, is to use pickled foods. Now, yogurt can be very helpful in this, but if that yogurt is made with pasteurized milk, then all the bacteria has already been killed in, that, in the pasteurization process. So if you want to yeah, eat milk products that are fermented like cheeses and buttermilk um, and yogurt and um, tofu, uh, then you make sure that it, it's made with unpasteurized milk. Because if it's not made with pasteurized milk, and uh, unpasteurized milk, if it's pasteurized milk, the bacteria has already been destroyed. So uh, just little rules like that will help you to have. Now, let me explain how this works. Our digestive system is supposed to be assisted by the, um, the, the probiotics in our stomach. And when we pre-digest food, and pre-digestion starts when you mix the foods in your mouth by chewing them with the saliva in your, uh, in your mouth, the saliva comes from your stomach. And so your uh, stomach then, I mean your mouth then chews the food, breaks it down, and mixes it with uh, 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 saliva that's inhabited with good bacteria. So by the time you swallow the food and it goes into your stomach, it's now being pre-digested. In other words, now, it's now a form uh, that the stomach can actually manage. And when the stomach begins to um, um, digest this food, it take, the food gets digested 80% um, quicker than normal. So we need less quantities of food and... The, the stomach doesn't have to work as hard to digest that food. And then the brain sends a signal to the stomach. Now, people are not, often not aware that your stomach is made of the same material as your brain. You know, when doctors do a brain operation and they've got to remove a part of the brain for a while while they're operating, they'll sew it in, onto the lining of the stomach because they're made of the same material. And so they can keep the brain alive by sewing it onto a person's stomach. So the brain is intelligent. I mean, the stomach is intelligent. And what, what it does, it sends a signal to the brain and says, this is what's in my stomach. The brain uh, processes that and says, these are the foods that we need in order to uh, have proper nutrition. And then the stomach begins to synthesize those uh, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and so on. It can't synthesize the omega oils. So you have to eat fish. Uh, and and there, there are various uh, uh, ways you can get omega oils. Coconut oil is a very good one for that. And I highly recommend that you start cooking with coconut oil and no other oil. Um, and, and once your um, stomach begins to synthesize this food, it gets rid of all the toxins in your stomach and they go into your kidneys and bladder and liver. And so you have only really good nutritional food entering into the body. And this keeps your body uh, healthy. Instead, instead of uh, food that's not digested well, it's... It, it, a lot of that time we walk around with food that is rotting in our stomachs, you know, and that's often because of the smells that we, you know, we, we, we emit. So uh, for me, that's been a secret. Now, let me tell you what the benefits are of the, um, of eating um, fermented foods. But well, in the first place, because your, your saliva in your mouth has good bacteria in it, your saliva in your mouth will look after your teeth a lot better. 
So I haven't been to a dentist since 2003, and I swish with uh, coconut oil. I don't brush my teeth because brushing your teeth is actually harmful to your teeth. Um, and, and, and so, and also a second um, a, a benefit is that your breath doesn't smell as much because the, the sm a smelly breath comes from your stomach. And if your um, stomach is not inhabited with good bacteria and it's got rotten food in there, the, the saliva from in the mouth comes from the stomach. And so you'll have a, a, a mouth filled with, um, you know, unpleasant, smelly uh, juices. So that's the second benefit you get. The next benefit you get, your stomach doesn't have to work as hard. It has, works 80% less to digest your food. Now, people aren't aware of this, but your stomach actually uses for normal uh, digestion when you not uh, your foods are not inhabited properly. You, you, when you're busy digesting these foods, your um, your stomach is is has to work about about thirty percent of the foods that you eat are then used by the stomach to digest the food. So only about 70% of the food that we eat actually give us energy. Whereas if we have our stomachs inhabited with good bacteria, we'll have more energy produced by less food. So the natural result of this is you'll start losing weight <laughs> because you're using less energy. To, so you can eat smaller quantities of food and get the same amount of nutrition. So that's, that's a very big benefit. And then, of course, once you start doing this, you, you will, your body will start uh, you know, uh, uh, behaving better. It will have less toxicity. Uh, it will have less um, uh, uh, o oxidant um, a breaking down of cells. It helps to fortify the cells and then keeping yourself healthy is just a matter of eating, you know, sensibly. Um, but you can eat anything, but try to stay away from manufactured foods because these usually have preservatives in them. And these preservatives are often uh, antibacterial so that they last longer in the, in the uh, containers they, they eat. And this destroys bacteria in your stomach. So try to eat natural foods as, uh, as much as you can. And then you can eat anything, basically, um, because your stomach then breaks it down into uh, whatever is useful to the body. And then it synthesizes uh, those foods to produce the vitamins we need. And there's only one vitamin that your stomach can't uh, synthesize, that's vitamin K. But you need vitamin K in such small quantities that it's, it's not all that relevant. Um, and, and, and so, the, you know, I, I just by eating sensibly, I eat small quantities of food. I have a rule not to eat more in one sitting than I can fit into my hand. So I, I'd rather eat more often than eat less often. Then, um, I'd rather eat small quantities more often than large quantities, you know, for the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. People are brainwashed into this. I don't know why, but, um, you know, it's just the way things are on this planet. <laughs> uh, and you can eat uh, sweet things. Uh, try to stay away from refined sugars because refined sugars are, are tox toxic to your body. And so if you're not going to benefit by putting toxins into your body, but you can eat sugars in other forms. Fruit, there's an awful lot of uh, sugar in your fruit. In fact, there are eight different sugars um, that the body needs in order to keep your cells healthy. But the humans tend to put too much uh, saccharin, I mean, um, saccharides and, and fruct uh, fruit fructose, which is a uh, fruit um, sugars. You know, we, we don't get enough of the other sugars, which are the other six sugars. I can't remember them all, but you can look them up. And if you have all those uh, eight sugars in your body, you, this also um, 
helps to keep the cells healthy because around each cell membrane, you get something uh, which are called um, uh, 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 glucoforms, glycoforms, sorry, glycoforms. And the glycoforms are made out of the eight sugars. And because of the crystalline nature of sugar, it becomes a crystal. So it's your cell signaling capability in your body. And it, it, it sends the signals to your uh, stem cells when there's problems and the stem cells then come and fix the, whatever's wrong with the cell. So it's important to have, um, you shouldn't have too many, too much sugar in, in your body that um, uh, saccharides and your fructose, but try to get the other sugars in your body as well. And uh, so keeping your body healthy is not all, it's not rocket science, basically. I'm, I'm telling you how to do it. And it's, it's just knowing how the body works. Um, and unfortunately, medical science here doesn't know how the body works. And I've had many discussions with doctors about this. And many of them said, oh, goodness me, I have never, you know, uh, caught the really understood the connection between good digestion and, and uh, micro, microbial forms. They didn't know it. And I'm, I've must have spoken to about six doctors about this. Two of them are very good friends of mine. The one was, he was astonished. He said, I've never heard of this before. But I remember learning about it at medical school, but we're not encouraged to tell people this. <laughs> so I just reminded him, so we'll start telling people. <laughs> because that's the secret to health. Um, yeah, so medical science doesn't uh, really want us to get healthy. And when I've spoken to doctors, I find that what happens is they are continuously visited by um, you know, pharmaceutical representative, representatives of pharmaceutical companies who then give them free samples and uh, advice and books on how to, to keep people healthy. And of course, all of what they tell doctors is designed to keep doctors prescribing the medicines that they produce. And, and so that's what doctors do. And so they've not really been doctors. They've just been mechanics. You know, they're, they're solving problems instead of preventing problems. So, yeah, I don't like um, uh, criticizing the medical profession because, you know, you know, I think it's a very noble profession. But unfortunately, it's just not, um, uh, it's, it's just not, you know, um, the way things work here. Unfortunately, the pharmaceutical companies run the, the whole medical profession on this planet. And so they prevent doctors from actually saying this. In fact, many doctors uh, have been killed because they went against this, um, the pharm pharmacy companies. And if you check this out on the web, you'll find it's something like 300 doctors were killed uh, in the last couple of years in the USA alone because they all wanted to present holistic healing. And this is just not tolerated by the pharmaceutical companies. So this is, you know, it's not rocket science. And if, if you understand the, the real basis of health, which is having your stomach, you know, uh, inhabited with good bacteria, it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science to stay healthy. You know, the body's a, a, a healing machine. It's designed to heal. <laughs> so I hope this has been useful to you. And uh, yeah, I'll post it on my on my website and uh, I'll post it to you as a YouTube video as well.